This is Larry. Larry's making your day with a first part, part one of a series on rats. Title, Will Rats Inherit the Earth? Today, my friends, we shall start a series on rats, the four-legged ones, not the two-legged type we see in the government. In a dramatic foretaste of the way the world would end, nuclear tests conducted by the United States in Iniwetok, Atoll, rocked the NJB Islet with blinding explosions and fierce firestorms gouging out mammoth craters, vaporizing all life and vegetation, engulfing all land with cataclysmic tidal waves and poles of lethal radiation beneath telltale mushroom clouds. A few years later, biologists visited the little island. They found the island still radioactive and barren of life, except, ah, except, for a large colony of rats, not maimed or genetically deformed creatures, but robust rodents with lifespans were longer than average. Articles in the National Geographic and Asia Week, parts of which we quote and paraphrase here, ask the same question. After Armageddon, will rats inherit the earth? In these times when Two-legged rats are again rearing their ugly heads, kissing the ass of the Americans with their advocacy of the Visiting Forces Agreement and befouling air with talk of constitutional changes converting ours to a parliamentary government by which child molesters, rapists, gun runners, pork barrel pigs, murderers, crooks, and traitors will forever dominate our country we take this opportunity to present our articles on the four-legged rats. Now, rodents comprise one of the 16 orders of mammals. Of its 31 families, the most successful is Murididae, and of its several genera, the most prolific is the ratus, which has at least 770 species. But only two of these have become man's reluctant partners and greatest enemies. Ratus ratus, the black rat, and ratus novergicus, the brown rat. These two, with their cousins, Mus Musculus, the house mouse, account for practically half the animal population on Earth and are the unwanted guests of man in the very house that he lives in. On the other hand, our own Homo sapiens is the sole species of the sole genus of the family Homididae and has only three close relatives in the family Pongidae, the gorilla, chimpanzee, and the orangutan. Not counting, of course, the new species of rat men from the CIA known as the Homo saps, who are drips of the first water. More about this after these messages. This is Larry Anaris making your day with part one of an article I wrote on rats. Subject, will rats inherit the earth? My friends, the rat discovered that a man's house is a nice place to live in despite his lack of hospitality. The host builds drains and sewers for commuting and fills them with kitchen refuse and toilet waste for rats to share with cockroaches. Take that, you lousy rat, said James Cagney as he pumped bullets into George Raft. Jimmy was expressing his feelings about rats that invade his house, bringing fleas that spread typhus and other diseases. In the conflict between man and rat, the score is almost even, with the rats perhaps a trifle ahead. There are now five billion humans on this earth, most of whom are wretched and underfed. 
There are falls of five billion rats, but most of them are comparatively well-fed and comfortable in our houses, drains, and fields. The score is so even in the 14th century with the Black Plague, the bubonic plague spread by rats killed 25 million people, one out of every four persons in Europe. In 1894, another rat-transmitted bubonic plague broke out in Hong Kong and in Canton and killed 15 million people before it petered out in India. But do not blame the rats. As many rats died as humans did, and the ultimate blame must be placed on the flea and the bacterium Pastorella pestis. If you would be so unfortunate as to contract bubonic plague, the first thing you will know about is a pain in your boobo. <laughs> boobo? <laughs> Look it up in the dictionary, friend. I want to keep this article clean. <laughs> you would not have long to contemplate your boobo, though, because chances are you'll soon be very dead before the day is done. More tomorrow, my dear friends. This is Larry Anaris making your day, saying good day, God bless you. Thank you very much for being with us. Till next time, hasta la bye-bye.